Welcome to Wine and Winds. I'm KP, a marine biologist with a passion for education and conservation. Everyone knows otters are extremely curious and playful animals. But not everyone realizes that play actually serves a vital role in their lives. So today, we're going to take a deeper dive to find out why. Before you forget, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and head down to the descriptions for ways that you can help support the channel. It's a common misconception that play is a uniquely human trait. In fact, several prominent psychologists like Carl Jung and Sigmund Freud falsely believed that humans were the only species to engage in play. But anyone with a dog, a cat, or even a ferret knows that that's not true. A multitude of birds and mammals like to have fun. For one, play is exercise, and it's how we develop things like fine motor skills, strength, and coordination. But it's also an important tool for developing social skills. Sea otters will often wrestle and spar in order to establish their social structure, which can be quite complex. Play can also be educational. A lot of times, in humans and in animals, play mimics natural behaviors and is how we learn. Like when a dog chases a ball as if it were a rabbit, or a cat pounces on a feathery toy, Sea otters will explore their environment and grab things like a rock or maybe a toy if they're living at a zoo or an aquarium. And this mimics what they would do out in the ocean, finding objects like mussels or clams to crack into. Sea otters will do things like investigate their surroundings with their paws, pick up things and try to smash things against rocks. This is actually a very important behavior for later on in a sea otter's life, as they can spend up to a third of their lives foraging for food that usually lives in shells and needs to be cracked open on rocks. Play also helps animals gain confidence by taking risks and by discovering things in their environment. Can I have a toy? Can I? She's like, whoa, look. A lot of times play takes the form of wrestling or sparring in some way or form. Some scientists actually believe that the stress related to these types of play sessions actually help the animals to be better equipped for stressful situations when they are older. Whenever they experience the real stress of trying to survive out in the ocean, their bodies are actually better equipped for it because of the earlier stresses in their lives of playtime. It's also important to note that only happy, healthy animals like to play. In general, animals that are starving, unhappy, or unwell do not really play. In that sense, play can be a good indicator of an animal's general health. Whether it's your dog or cat at home, a sea otter out in the wild, or even animals in zoos and aquariums. If an animal is willing and eager to play, then you can be pretty sure that's a happy creature. Now typically this is the part of the video where I tell you how you can help sea otters. But today, I'm gonna to take the opportunity to show you how sea otters can help you. Hopefully watching them splash around and play with toys is not only fun and interesting, but will also inspire you to go play. Play a video game. I love to stab, 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 stabby daddy daddy. Go outside, go to the park, throw a frisbee. It's good for you, I promise. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and head over to my Twitch channel where we play games and have fun analyzing viral animal videos. 
That link is in the descriptions below.